hello guys welcome back today we're going to be talking about this quad right here which is our 65 dollars built and all the parts that you see in this quad they were offered in our facebook group rc deals and offers for really low prices really great deals and we're going to be having a look at each component of this quad and the price of uh, each part and we're also going to take this this quadcopter for a flight and see how it performs okay so let's do it all right guys here we go so let's start with the motors these are the 40 beast 2306 2400 kvs and they were offered for eight dollars one set so it's about two dollars for motors and here they are that's how they look typical 2306 motors um, they look pretty okay for the price although the green color is a little bit out but that's okay as long as they fly well um, that's it I don't care now moving on to the ESC's these are 30 amps 40 B's uh, BLE 32 D-Shot 1200 ready and they were offered for four dollars each piece so it's about $16 just for the ESCs, which is considered pretty cheap for the size and the quality of these ESCs. So we grab them and put them here. They're going to a PDB Matex style, the typical PDB with 12 and 5 volts pads, so you can connect your VTX, your camera, and stuff like that. Now, the PDB was about $2 only. Yeah, below $2, I would say. And then we have here our flight controller, which is the SP Racing F3. And um, these were offered for $8 as well, below $8. Now, I know F3 is a pretty standard board and there's not many functions in it. But then again, it's pretty easy to set up and it flies pretty okay for its price. It's about $8 as well. And I actually still fly some, some of our quads with the F3. Uh, with this board and I really have no reason to hit it. It's easy to set up. Just get a flash in a better flight and then you're good to go. That's pretty pretty easy to set up. So that's it. So we are going with them. And then we have our here our VTX which is the ATX03. And the main reason why we picked up this this VTX is because it's very light and it's very easy to set up as well and it's very small it fits pretty much in any frame and one more thing is it comes with uh, 25 50 and 200 uh, milliwatts so you can actually switch in between uh, fre uh, frequencies channels and also how many mil uh, milliwatts you want to use and it was about ten dollars so it's pretty okay pretty good and then we have here our camera. Now for cameras, we picked up this one, which is the Monster Fox and Monster V2 1200 TVL. And it was about $27 just for the camera. But um, we do have some options here of cameras like this one, which is about $7. You could use this camera if you want to. Or you can use another one, which is a Cyclops V2. It's about $10. And you can actually record your flights. There's a DVR board here. Just put an SD card and you can actually record without any interference. But cameras are something really personal. It's really up to you. We picked up this camera because it was a really good deal. And we wanted to give it a try. Yeah, But then again, it's up to you. And then last but not least... Everything goes into this frame, which is a frog light. Okay, 218, it's about 220. Um, this frame it looks really, really solid. It comes with four millimeter arms. Um, there are two boards here, one for the, for the, so you can fix the PDBs and one as a bottom plate. And these arms, they are replaceable. And I think one of the best things of this frame is it comes with aluminum standoffs, which is a really, really cool feature. And it looks really, really solid. It feels solid. 
Um, one more thing I want to do before we fly is check our total weights. Okay, we are almost ready. Okay, we are good to go. And here we go, right? Let's get it on. Let's see how how heavy it is, is this squad right now. Okay, we are sitting comfortably at 340 grams for a full setup without the battery. Cool, now, now let's take this, this quad quarter for flight and let's see uh, what's the results. All right, guys, here we go. What I was just trying to do with the squad is really try to fly around and see how responsive it is and how it's gonna react to my sticks. I have not made any changes in the PIDs. I was just made some adjustments in the rates for what I usually fly with my other quads and see how it's going to perform. So just really trying to punch and see how fast and how responsive it gets up and rolling slow and rolling fast and see how fast it's going to drop from the sky and if it recovers well. That is what I was trying to do. Nothing much and i was actually having a really good time with the squad i was already having a fun flying it around and uh i think it's totally worth the money that you pay for the parts that you get i have nothing to complain about it i do need to make some adjustments in the pids i still feel that some vibrations uh, on throttles up on punch but um i think that's normal can be adjusted it's not a big deal i'm not seeing any funky weird uh, behavior from the quad it's just really throwing rolls and flips and doing stuff to see how it's going to react and and it was it was just flying nicely it was just it was just doing whatever i wanted to do um yeah so i would definitely recommend uh, you guys getting some of these parts and or if you're not all and get out there and fly with uh, the minimal amount you can spend as possible so guys keep flying and uh, keep following us stay tuned with the group and stay tuned with the channel as we will be bringing more deals and more offers for you guys and uh, we'll see you soon thanks for watching and see you next time